Depending on the module of endpoint, pit or remote, decide how the endpoint will be installed, wall mount, through the lid, shelf mount, or rod mount. For water meter pit boxes, the type of lid material and its configuration will govern how the endpoint should be mounted. In this video, we'll cover the rod mount installation. The 100 series endpoint modules can be mounted below the pit lid on a customer supplied 1 half inch diameter rod. The example installation described in this section uses a fiberglass rod. Here are some tools you'll need for the installation process. Check to make sure the ITRON inline connector O-ring is in place. Remove the pit lid, inspect the area to make sure there are no buried cables, pipes, or other obstructions. Measure the pit box depth from the top of the lip to the bottom of the pit. Be sure to measure the depth at the point where you will drive the rod into the ground. Add 12 inches to the pit box depth measurement. The resulting total represents the minimum length of rod you will need. Without touching the meter body or adjacent pipes, position the rod as close to the center of the pit as possible. Drive the rod into the ground, ensuring that the rod remains vertical. Drive the rod into the ground so that the top of the rod is approximately three and a half inches below the bottom of the pit lid. If you cannot drive the rod in far enough to equal the necessary spacing, cut the remaining rod length to the proper height using an abrasive cutoff tool. Inspect the port and the cable to make sure there is no damage to the three pin connector. Connect the inline connector to the ERT by rotating the key tab until they align and then push the connection together firmly. Attach the ITRON security tamper seal to the endpoint. Completely insert the rod into the ERT module's rod mounting hole. Do not force the ERT module into the rod. If the ERT module does not slide freely on the rod, remove the ERT module and examine the ERT module's rod hole and the rod for burrs or obstructions. You may secure the ERT module to the rod with a self-drilling screw through the hole in the top of the ERT module's rod mount cavity. The screw mounting hole is shown here. The installation is complete when the ERT module is perpendicular to the underside of the lid. The ERT module must not contact the pit structure or the lid. Verify that the pit lid does not touch the ERT module when the lid is replaced. There must be a 1 to 2 inch space between the top of the ERT module and the bottom of the pit lid. If the ERT module is installed too high, too low, or is touching any of the surrounding surfaces, adjust as necessary.